Hey, what's up everybody? Okay, so in this video we're still looking at Smart Connect on the server. So and the next page we're going to be looking at is the alerts page. So this is the page that has the map and let's just get straight to it. Okay, so here we are. We were on the conservation areas. Now we click on alerts. So here it pops up as an open street map in this case. So we're not too worried about that, but we can change that in the setting side of things. Uh, but at the bottom here, we've got refresh. So refreshing all the... Mm. Yeah, maybe there's no security person at the desk. I'll see. Cool. And this kind of will be your almost like your front screen that you just visualize all the information coming in on the off the field. So this 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 data will be um, configured somewhere else, but just to show you, I'm just going to show you all dates. Uh, all so all of these are ticked. Uh, I just want to see if something comes up. But anyways, on the right hand side here, you've got your filter, as you can see there. Uh, you've got your different dates at the top. You've got the different alert types that are coming through here. You can configure this under settings. You can also this is the active or disabled, the importance also configured later, and then obviously all your default conservation areas. At the bottom here, if you are, for example, um, a radio control room operator, you can create a new alert. You can show me which conservation area it applies to, the type of alert, the importance of that specific event, the Latin long, so if you've got a call in over radio or a WhatsApp, you can type it in here and then obviously give a description. And when you say submit, it will then show up there, as you can see. So that, and then obviously if I refresh, it's going to just check that there's no information coming in. If I want to export image, I click export image. And you'll see here that it immediately exports it into a PNG format. And there it is there. So a super basic um, picture, just the different the maps, the filters, etc. And then the last one here is to manage the alerts. So if I manage the alerts, as you can see here, these are all the alerts that have been created. So they're not currently sitting on a specific um, conservation area database they are just sitting on top of it but which it applies to is this here obviously you can edit this edit the information um, but just yeah you can now delete them as you see or as an admin you can manage that information there's a central location so that helps to view quick data that is maybe important such as carcass data for example or human wildlife conflict depending on what your need is for as a conservation area cool i hope that has brought clarification oh sorry wait one more on the left hand side here you've got these base map options now in this case the open street map is on you can obviously turn it off and that's if you connect it to a specific um I mean, if you connect it to an internet connection, but for example, if you've got um, layers on a specific conservation area that you want to turn on, as you can see here, there's my map that suddenly starts coming up. Now, these are the maps that um, you would have saved in Smart Desktop within that specific uh, conservation area. So 
just be aware of what you are putting on and off here depending on for example um, the busyness the legend and all that kind of stuff so just be aware of what you are putting on and what you're creating but that is a good option to then be able to view your own layer symbology on the back of this you'll also see later how we can actually zoom in and out um, or actually zoom to a specific extent of the conservation area cool i hope that has helped you